Greetings, citizens. This is Lance Starbolt. And we're... What, what on earth are we playing? Lance, just shut up and get in the life pod. Yeah. Did you hear the, the... The warning thingies? You know, the beeping and stuff? Uh... Well, what are, what are we doing in an escape pod? Oh my god! Our ship blew up! Yeah, that, that happens, Lance. Uh, welcome to Subnautica. So, Subnautica? What's that about? Oh, you'll like it. It's a sci-fi thing where uh, you start out by surviving the crash of your... Oh, by the way, Lance, I'm, I'm sorry, this is gonna... Ow! Sorry, Lance. That hurt. Yeah, yeah, you might want to... Uh, you, you see that fire extinguisher over there? Yeah, you might want to grab that. Let me out, chair! Oh. But that was a little framey there, Lance. All right, get there. There we go. Okay, now just put out the fire. Whoa! I've never had the opening sequence be framey like this. There, I, I think. Wow! What is with the frames all of a sudden? Hadn't had any frames problems here before. So, uh, hey, welcome back, everyone. Uh, back to Subnautica. You know, I I was yeah, yeah. Good job not dying, Lance. Thanks, I appreciate that. I'm starting to see why Growler's annoyed with you. I don't know what you're talking about, Lance. So yeah, I was gonna wait on doing some Nautica until they'd done some performance improvements, but you know, watching doing the doing the video the other day and then watching some other videos that I I it. I'd forgotten how much. Well, I knew I knew I was looking forward to getting back to the game, but I'd forgotten how much I really, really enjoyed the game. So I'm really, really, uh, uh, I, I'd been wanting to play. What can I say? Situational assessment time t plus three hours since planet four. I was unconscious for three hours. Yeah, sorry about that, Lance. I I could have a major concussion or something. Where is the medical staff? I think it's just you, Lance. And why? You know, I've been monkeying with this, playing with frame rates and everything. I got it to where the frame rate issue was almost non-existent, just in a, you know, in a few areas and stuff. I and mean, now all of a sudden, the frame rate here on the life pod is terrible. Let's, ugh, what is going on? Let's get out of here. The Aurora suffered catastrophic hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected in 100 meter range. Uh, so, uh, no, no medical team? No, sorry, Lance, you're gonna have to medical yourself. Oh my god. You know, I, I've been sitting here doing test recordings. Environment, uh, uncharted, ocean planet. Oxygen so now, underneath here, everything's fine now. Oh, well, now, as soon as I say something, it stops. I have no idea. Maybe it's because it's the beginning of the game and it's creating a bunch of files. Maybe they changed the way it creates its files and it starts out by creating a bunch right at the beginning. That would explain why. It's so my frame rate issue. Now, I do, I've done a lot of testing on this. It's not a graphic problem. Uh, it's not my GPU having issues. I think it's hard drive access because... Oxygen. Oops. Yeah, you better breathe, Lance. There we go. Because, um... All right, these stairs work. Yes, they are the ladder, I should say, whatever. It does work. Great. Um, because it doesn't matter what, uh... Attention. What graphics... Detecting increased local radiation levels. Uh, is radiation. Trigon. Uh, I, I don't like this radiation issue. Lance Starbolt needs to be fertile. There are so many beautiful alien in the women in the universe that Lance Starbolt hasn't seen yet. Who are you, Lance Starbolt or Jim Kirk? Come on, man. <sighs> Anyways, I've done a ton of testing on it. And, you know, I've been playing uh, on this, I mean, not really playing the game, but just uh, screwing around on our previous save for uh, more than an hour and had very little frame issues. And now exact same setup and I'm getting all sorts of frame issues. You know, the one thing I did change is I changed the location of the save for the video files. I wonder if that could be causing an issue. Shouldn't be. I don't know. But as I started to say, it's not it's not graphics. I set it up the highest setting, I set it the Oxygen. lowest setting, and I get the exact same thing um, with the frame rate issue. 
uh, it seems to be hard drive access related, um, which I just have a you know standard, you know was it 7200 RPM or whatever uh, it was a higher end hard drive, but you know nothing new or anything, no solid state. There we go. You got a peeper, Lance. Be sure not to play. With, don't play with your peeper, Lance. That sounded vaguely obscene, Trigon. I expected better of you. Uh, well, what can I say? I've been hanging around Growler a lot. Oxygen. Oh, God, oxygen again. Swim, Lance, swim! So anyways, I did find, however, that having the graphics settings set lower um, does improve the recording performance. So the game might perform fine for me, but the recording was coming out terrible. So I've got it set on that. But the other problem I've been suffering from is that uh, when Windows, when Microsoft shoved out this latest Windows update, oh my goodness, when they shoved out this latest Windows update, they broke so much stuff, and the recording software I normally use is totally messed up. Uh, I can't record anything with it anymore without it, the audio and video both being totally messed up. Oxygen. Breathe, Lance. I don't need you to remind me. I beg to differ. It seems like you do need me to remind you. Yeah, this is the first new save I've created today. It's all been old saves I've been working on, so... That's the only thing I can think, is it has to do with the fact that it's a new save. There you go. Cook yourself some fish. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. For human kids? The kids? For human kids? Oh, I guess those, those, that thing only makes children's meals. I'm sorry, Lance. You imbecile. It just got cut off. Yeah, Lance, I, I was trying to be funny. You failed. <laughs> Why, thanks, Lance. Oh, watch out for the poop fish. What? Oh, that was not cool. Lance Starwalt does not approve of poop fish. Bet you Growler would. He's not here. Ah, true, true. Okay, so enough goofing around. I hope this settles down, because this is ticking me off. More than an hour, no frame rate issues, now all of a sudden it's doing this. Maybe I should try changing the, the save drive back to the other drive? It should be the exact same model of hard drive, I bought them together, so it shouldn't make any difference, but maybe it does. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Uh-oh. Run, Lance, run! Well, swim. Swim, Forrest, swim! Oxygen. Yeah, oxygen. Being bitten is probably more of a danger than, than oxygen at the moment. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, Lance. You know, that does... Oh, no, now we're getting frames again. Let's see. Doesn't seem bad in here now. Oh, we do have a first aid kit made, though. Uh, hello? Open. There we go. You know, Lance, you can use your first aid kit. So yeah, I, I switched it back to uh, using the other hard drive. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may cause a point in detonation. Calculating risk assessment. Death by malnourishment, 7%. By physical injury, 11%. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 90%. If the drive is that 19 or 90? <laughs> probability of death increases to 65%. Oh dear. Uh, oh, a little smoke coming out of our uh, life pod here. We need to get some repairs done there, Lance. So I, that's that's really odd. I don't know why. It, which hard drive I'm saving to is making a difference, but apparently it does. That is really bizarre. It's the only thing I had changed. 
And look, we're not getting anywhere near the frames we were getting there. So anyways, I'm not, I wasn't saving to that hard drive because that's like where everything is. All the games and everything are on the, on the hard drive I'm saving to now. Uh, so the other hard drive was... Is an essential component of all thank you. Powered equipment. Uh, the other one Your I didn't have hardly anything on. It was actually in a different computer that I don't use anymore. It's an older one. Um, but I had upgraded the hard drive in it at the same time I built this current computer. Uh, so I grabbed the hard drive out of it and stuck it in this one to use for storing extra data because the one that has all the games and everything on it is continually close to being full. And since uh, Windows broke fraps, or not fraps, broke uh, OBS, um, I can't use it to record anymore. Uh, it, it makes just horrible recordings. So I switched to using fraps, which is an older program. It doesn't have it's nowhere near as configurable, and unfortunately it f saves directly into AVI files. Uh, and doing one half-hour episode uh, of anything uh, eats up 30 gigabytes of storage space. <laughs> Which means, on the other drive, I was pretty much, I, I couldn't record more than two episodes at a time, because then I'd have to get them off that drive. So I guess what I'm probably going to end up having to do is uninstall some, some software, games and stuff, and move them over to the uh, empty drive so I have space to keep game recordings. Because I, I like, sometimes, depending on what I'm doing, I like to record two, two or three uh, uh, episodes in a row. Especially on games like uh, Galactic Civilizations and uh, uh, Railroads. So anyways, we've been rambling here. Let's get back to the game. Um, Let's see, Lance, I think first we should probably work on getting you a knight. Oh, air tanks too. So we need, we need two tiny, we might actually have enough stuff to, to get you. So we'll put the copper in here, we don't need that right now. Take the titanium, we need to get you another, another titanium, we can get you a tank. And a, what is a knife gonna take? A knife will take silicone rubber and titanium. Uh, wait a minute, what is silicone? I know it uses the creep vine thingies unless they've changed it. Oh, we do need glass for our air tank. Uh, silicone rubber, where is it? Right here. Two, cl two C clusters for silicone rubber. So yeah, after the update came out and, um, you know, I did that video on the update and tinkered around hoping that, you know, they'd improve the performance so we could play again. After that, I started watching some older uh, videos that other other uh, YouTubers had done, and it really made me uh, really made me nostalgic for for playing this game. Uh, I want one more way I can make two. Come on, come on, give it to me. Give me the creep vine seed. Give me oxygen. Creep vine seed. Ugh. And we get an odd number again. Darn it. Breathe, Lance! Maybe if you weren't so distracted, I wouldn't be having trouble breathing. Just get another creep vine scene and let's get out of here. Alright, go. Back to the back to the life pod. There we go. 87 meters. You can swim 87 meters. Actually, you know, that that's actually sort of amazing. Lance, you, you, you really are a superhero, aren't you? I don't think I could swim 87 meters in, in the short period of time you have. <laughs> I think I would probably have swum about five meters and then drowned. All right, so let's make some, uh, oh, we got a uh, lubricant uh, thing now. I want to make several of these because we'll be using them. Oh, we forgot to get titanium while we were out. Uh, we need two for the tank. How many do we need for the, just the one? Okay, cool. So Lance, we got you a knife. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Braxis Prime. What? As an essential I want a phaser! Million years, I the knife think that might be the like a Star Trek thingy, Sorry uh, about uh, that. you know, copyrighted, so you, you, no, mo no more mentoring phasers. No more mentioning phasers, Lance. Alright, how about a laser then? Uh, handheld lasers really uh, don't work. I mean, you need so much power for... Trigon, shut up. Jeez, I try to be nice and I get grief. You and you and Growler, both of you, 
Oxygen. All right. Warning. Local radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core. A quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise observing a one kilometer safety range. Uh, Trigon, does that look like one kilometer to you? I, I'm, I'm not really too sure about the scale of the ship. I, I think we're within one kilometer. I hate to say, Lance. Well, we'd, we'd better move. To where? We, we need to get out of the blast radius. I don't think it's going to happen, Lance. Little lances are going to fry! Uh, entirely possible. Little lances? you got to be kidding me. Uh, Alright, we'll get you another air tank here. That way we'll have two air tanks, and that'll give you... That'll give you some room to move. Oh, we can... We can make uh, flippers too, that'll be a good idea. I think they plan with the next update to get rid of the ability to carry multiple air tanks and give you more ability to uh, uh, to upgrade the capacity of your one tank. Okay, so we got flippers and we got two tanks now. That's got us up to 105 seconds of oxygen. These are some pretty lame air tanks. Only 105 seconds of oxygen? And I'm carrying two of these big things? Who designed this? Uh, I think Growler City had something to do with that. Figures. <laughs> I'll tell him you said that, Lance. He didn't really need an acid mushroom, but there you go. Actually, you know what? Let's grab... Let's see what other tools we need first. Okay, so this stuff here, I think we're okay out here for now. Um, we want a radiation suit eventually. I think we can still find one. I don't think any of the stuff... Oh, I know what we need. We need a grav ball. Grav sphere. We need a battery, copper wire, and two titanium. So, mainly what we need is copper. We need the copper. So, we need to go find some more copper lamps. Let's grab this. I think we need two copper for the wire. This will be enough to get the battery going. There we go. So now we'll just go find ourselves some two copper. Yeah, because you're, you're getting seriously hungry there, buddy. Yes, I, I noticed that. I, I think I might have noticed my stomach growling before you did. But don't bet on that. I had very sensitive ears. Very sensitive something. You're starting to sound like Growler there, buddy. I am not Growler. I'm Lance Starbolt, hero of the galaxy! Right. Anyway, uh, let's see. Copper. Copper, 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 copper. So hey, if I didn't say it earlier, welcome back, folks. I know some of you uh, had missed me, uh, me uh, doing um, um, Subnautica videos. Uh, it's just with the performance stuff and, you know, it's just... It was getting me down, and we'd played it for months and months. But it is such a fun game. Uh, where is that? What on earth was this? Oh, one of the little air things blows. See that thing down there, Lance? Yeah, it'll put out little air bubbles. See? You can get air from it. Hey. Top up your air a little bit. Okay. Uh, Trigon? Yes, Lance? Just how big is this map? Uh, it's... Emergency. Seismic readings suggest uh -oh. a quantum detonation uh -oh. has occurred in the Aurora. Oh, we're swimming the wrong way. We're closer to it. The swim, Lance, the swim! Will reach a super critical state. In T minus. Ten. Nine. Uh -oh. Eight. This, this ain't seven, gonna be good, Lance. Six. This ain't five, gonna be good. Four, uh -oh. Three. Two. Oh, the radiation! You're fine, Lance. You're fine. Just yeah, get in, get in the pod for just a little while. In the life pod. Let the radiation calm down a little bit. See, your little lances will be fine. And right, don't tell him he's he's done for. We won't tell it. We won't tell Lance about the uh, the 
disease here in the ocean that he's already caught. What was that? Oh, nothing, Lance. Just, just, um, you know, talking to uh, the peeps. I get the distinct feeling that you're keeping something from me, Trigon. I don't know what would make you think something... Where on earth are we? <laughs> you know, I'm pretty used to this map. We've played this often enough, but and I'm trying to figure out... I, I, I have no clue where we are on the map right now. I mean, obviously safe shallows, but... Did we end up on the clear on the south side of the safe shallows? That uh, that was a pretty good job of changing the subject there, there, uh, Trigon. I, I was not changing the subject. I, I'm seriously. What's this wreck? Oh, are we? Yeah, I think we. I think yeah, we're over here by this this thermal vent here. Yep. Get some air, Lance. Let's check out the, the wreck. We need to get Lance some food soon, too, so... Can you grab that fish, Lance? Grab him. Grab him. There you go. Alright, is there a way into here? Wait, is this door open? Yes, it will. Hang on. What's this? Uh, it's just like a, you know, data pad. Got some info on it. had a secondary mission of, uh, well, lots of log entries there, had a secondary mission of uh, finding Paul Torgel, or however his name is pronounced there, and I think it was Torgel, and rescuing him and his party, because apparently their ship crashed on this planet. What a big surprise! Caution. Let me guess. Do we have any water back in the life pot? I don't know. We definitely got set down in a weird place, though. Uh, I don't think I've ever been set down this far south and east on the map. That is really strange. No wonder the stern of the ship looked so huge. Because we're way here at the stern of the ship. Can you get this guy, Lance? Of course, he's not going to help us with water much, but better than nothing. They're uh, filter fish, you know, fish, little fish you can get that, that uh, filter the water, and you can uh, you can process them and get the water from them. But uh, I haven't seen any. I mean, at all. All right, go ahead and eat your food there, buddy. That help your water a little bit. Okay, let's uh, let's go here. So that it brought us out facing the ship, right? Yeah. Okay. So I want to try. Let's go this way. Um, another thing we can do: look for salt. Oh, there's some more uh, crystal. Go ahead and get that quartz. So what is our uh, our aim here, Trigon? Well, uh, first off, is to keep you from uh, drowning. Starving to death or, or dying of, of thirst. Alright, these plans I approve of. <laughs> I thought you would. Um, so then, uh, you know, we're going to want get, to get to building some tools and, uh, and other things that we can use to uh, improve your odds of survival here. There's more quartz. But right now right now um, keep an eye out for salt there's some right there there we go for salt because then we can use your knife to get some coral from these big coral tubes uh, and use it combined with the salt to make uh, some bleach and then use the bleach to disinfect some water so that uh, so that you can drink it that sounds highly unlikely. Why would we use leech in water? That sounds like it would poison me. Well, apparently not. Hey, I'm not a game designer, okay? Not computer games, anyways. Oxygen.
Oh, this, I think this tube here is the one I was looking for. This should have some copper. Mild dehydration detected. Some lead. Let me take recommended. Yes, we know, we know. There's one. One more copper lance and we got the grav sphere. And what exactly we're going to use this grav sphere for? Well, the grav sphere will, you know, creates a, a pocket of gravity and attracts light things around it. What sort of light things? Like fish, you imbecile. Don't call me an imbecile. I'm Lance Starbolt. You're an imbecile. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was a little harsh, Lance. There we go. We got the copper. Go ahead and check these while we're here. What was that? Oh, more lead. I don't like the new models very much. They're, it's a lot harder to tell what things are. They've gone with more realistic appearing models. For, I mean, for the stuff in your inventory, not not for... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. For the stuff in your inventory, not for... Uh, um, whatever. Sorry, ramble brain not working. Okay, so now we're just going to swim back to our life pod, which is dangerously close to the uh, <laughs> engineering half of the starship. And we can make you some water, and we can make the grav sphere, which will make it easier for you to get food. And make it easy, easier for poop guys to poop. Uh, no, wait, no, no, it doesn't make it easier for them to poop. My mistake there, my mistake. Up and in. I think they added more sound effects to this. I don't remember it being quite so this wappy. Oh, we forgot to get any coral while we were out. Okay, well that's fine. Let's do the copper wire. Oh, we got plenty of copper. I'm not gonna make more copper wire right now though. We might need it for something else. Okay, let's put some of the stuff we don't need away. Then we'll go get our coral. Oh, good. We had a lot of, a lot of that. Oops. Can't grab to convert that salvage. We can try out the grass sphere. At the same time, we can grab some coral to make your uh, water. So we need what? One coral sample per per other sample. And so we've got uh, two salts, so we can make you two waters. Okay. Out we go. Yeah, I think they actually, I saw I saw in the Trello that they plan to eliminate that step so you can just make the water Emergency. out of the... Emergency. Severe dehydration detected. Yes, you know. oh, so fluid up. intake immediately. Okay, we got that. And so let's... Ooh, there's one of the... What you call it, fish? Okay. Let's go make your water real fast here, Lance. Let that thing attract some fish, and we'll come back and grab them. Oops. Yeah, I read that was one of their plans, to eliminate these things that have the, the needless... Uh, as... as as Eek would call it, the, the needless rabbit hole uh, things where you have to make A in order to make B in order to make C. And instead make it so you just make uh, the final product out of the raw materials. So there we go. You got three or no, just two bottles of water. Why did I think you got three? Well, that almost filled you up, though, so that's good. That's good. Uh, where's our grass? So here it is. All right, so just about done for the day. We're definitely out of time, but let's see what we can grab here. Come on, grab him. Yep. Do we need more? Life forms may have unexpected characteristics and applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Good. New creature discovered. Come on. There we go. Come on. Stop moving around so much. You're supposed to be easier to catch this way. <laughs> I mean, they can't escape us, but they keep moving around so much, it's hard to get close enough to...
grab them. And I'm just, you know, clicking up a storm here trying to grab these guys, and I can't... Maybe uh, maybe those are not... No, but I don't think it would the, the grass here would be able to grab them if they were ungrabbable ones. Because, you know, some of these... There we go. Got him. I mean, I know some of the creatures it has grabbed are not ones we can grab. I wonder what it's grabbed down here inside the cave. Oh, crash fish, crash fish. Swim away, land, swim away! Ow! Bugger. Oxygen. Okay. Well, I, I think you guys got the gist of things. Uh, we're set up. We seem to have solved our very strange frames problem. Um, let's see if there's some crash fish powder down here. Nope. That's another thing. They're supposed to fix so that all the crash fish actually have crash powder in them. Um, and I'm going to get some more fish here for Lance, and uh, we will definitely see you in our next video. Don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, Lance.